Robert Roberson is back behind bars in Livingston after a last minute say from the Texas Supreme Court. It halted his execution Thursday night. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Claydra Rhodes. Roberson was convicted of killing his daughter based on a disputed diagnosis of shaken baby syndrome. Tonight, Rebecca Lopez looks at what comes next. It has never happened before, a Texas death row inmate being subpoenaed to testify before state lawmakers in order to halt his execution. If we had not issued that, uh, that subpoena, he almost certainly would be dead right now. Both Democrats and Republicans on the Texas House of Representatives Criminal Jurisprudence Committee voted unanimously to issue the subpoena after hearing from experts about his case. At issue is that Robert Robertson was convicted of killing his two-year-old daughter in 2002 in what appeared to be shaken baby syndrome, which scientists and doctors have now dispelled as junk science. No jury has ever heard the mountains of evidence that could prove his innocence, never. Hours before his scheduled execution Thursday night, the Texas Supreme Court also agreed to stop the execution, contradicting an order allowing the execution by the Court of Criminal Appeals. So now you have two Texas high courts at odds. The Court of Criminal Appeals, which normally handles criminal cases, um, said last night that the execution could proceed, but yet the Texas Supreme Court that handles civil cases said that uh, the execution should be halted. In an extraordinary move, Texas prison guards are now planning to move Robertson from death row to the state capitol to testify on Monday. After he testifies Monday, experts say most likely prosecutors will try to get a new execution date. Um, that's probably going to be 90 days plus out. In the meantime, Robertson's lawyers could petition the trial judge or the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals to consider new evidence. You see them kind of pursuing two strategies. One is this should be dismissed outright. He, he is innocent. And the other is, well, if you can't abide by that, then at least give us an, a new trial. All of this could take months, which some lawmakers say is needed to make sure a potentially innocent man is not executed.